this video I introduced a Gaussian process inverse reinforcement learning. Gaussian process inverse reinforcement learning uses the Gaussian process to generate the structure of a real world function. And then I use the expert demonstration to train this uh, uh, likelihood. And then now we use uh, this uh, real world in reinforcement learning to find the optimal policy. And then the uh, agent and this policy generates its own trajectory. To use this Gaussian process, first of all, we need to know the idea what the real world uh, distribution or, or for given uh, uh, inducing points XU. Because this uh, you know, real world is determined by this uh, output of the Gaussian process and the kernel uh, hyperparameters. So uh, we need a uh, guess, we need to get the idea and use this idea you know, just uh, for the uh, prior. And once we have this prior, we can uh, generate the Gaussian process and use this Gaussian process to estimate the real world function from his uh, mean of the Gaussian process. And then now we give this uh, real world structure to the uh, to the likelihood of the reinforcement learning. And then now let's see how can we combine Gaussian uh, process with the inverse reinforcement learning. First, uh, uh, we need to define the, re uh, the kernel using the radio basic function. And this kernel is uh, described by the hyperparameters set includes this beta and the lambda. And then how can we select this uh, hyperparameters lambda and the output of the uh, Gaussian process? So we need to define a margin likelihood. Margin likelihood means given for given the inducing points, how can we get the idea about the output of the uh, causing process and the uh, kernel hyperparameters set. Then now we define this uh, marginal likelihood as an objective function. And then uh, we can determine uh, what the uh, this output of the causing process and the kernel hyperparameters uh, by optimize uh, this uh, objective function. Once we get this object function, uh, we get this uh, output of the Gaussian process and the kernel uh, hyperparameters. And then now uh, we can uh, combine them into uh, inverse reinforcement learning and the Gaussian process to find the uh, real world function from the export demonstrations. To do so, first, uh, our goal is to uh, extract the real world determined by this uh, output of the Gaussian process and the kernel uh, hyperparameters from the export demonstrations for given inducing points XU. And then now uh, we can, uh, this is a post here because this is a real world R we will, uh, we will estimate and this is the export demonstration. We can move the export demonstration from uh, right side to left side, then now we get this uh, joint probability. That means uh, uh, the probability to match this uh, uh, this export uh, demonstration with the corresponding real world for given inducing points x u, and then now we can use the chain rule to split this uh, joint probability into two terms. One is the uh, uh, this uh, Gaussian process uh, process uh, probability we already get, and then now uh, for this term because this is the uh, likelihood of uh, inverse reinforcement learning is complicated. We cannot uh, analytically calculate this integral, so uh, we need some trick uh, to uh, calculate this integral. Uh, simple ways we limited this reward as the mean of a Gaussian process. That means we can uh, use this uh, simple way. We can uh, just uh, limit the one uh, R and uh, we can remove this uh, integral and uh, combine this Gaussian process into this uh, uh, likelihood of uh, inverse reinforcement learning. 
And then that means uh, you know to calculate this uh, joint uh, uh, probability for given inducing points. So this uh, uh, log property probability as equal to terms two terms. Uh, here we have already one. This one that we need to uh, use the uh, you know use the expert demonstration to optimize this uh, like log likelihood. Once we have uh, this. Uh, uh, optimize this log likelihood, then now we have a real world function. This is equal to the mean of uh, Gaussian process. And then now we can use this uh, uh, real world R in the reinforcement learning to recover the expert uh, policy. And then the uh, agent can use this uh, policy to generate its own trajectory. If a uh, state not in uh, this uh, uh, state space, so we can use uh, use the mean of the Gaussian process as the real world, new real world R, and here is a, a covariance of the new state. And then now we can generate the uh, policy and, uh, to, for our agent to generate the new trajectory. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you.